The Honourable Minister for Defence. Let me again first acknowledge the Momona Tinandi and uh, the Commission of Police. Uh, invited uh, guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, again, I am indeed privileged to be here back in Nandi uh, this morning to officiate in this very special ceremony of ours. I do acknowledge again the Vengaravi Vaturang uh, that was accorded to me on behalf of government this morning and uh, thank you once again Commissioner and uh, DPC West for the warm welcome uh, this morning. Commissioner of Police, uh, Brigadier General Sitiwen Ngiliho, invited guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Dolvina, Namaste, Salam alaikum and a very good morning uh, to you all. It's great to be back in the Western Division. Following my visitation uh, two weeks back and uh, returning so quickly is even sweeter for me, knowing that we are marking a significant step towards improving the overall service delivery of the Fiji Police. The Western Division has had its uh, fair share of challenges and I commend you for continuing your work amidst the difficult circumstances uh, that you went through and I applaud the dedication showed by all of you uh, during such challenging situations. During my visits to the police stations and units around the country, I was overwhelmed with the reception I received and I acknowledge the hard work you put in every day, in every day, you put in every day, sorry, whether you are serving in one of our busy cities and towns to the most outlying of community posts in the rural and maritime areas. Today's ceremony may be a mere formality to some, but for the people of Nandi and visitors to our shores, it signifies hope that in the not too distant future, a new structure will be erected and house all the requirements needed to meet the growing demands of policy. The government is supportive of the restructure and reform plans for the Fiji Police Force having factored in the growing demands placed on your services. The restructure process is admittedly long overdue and this government has taken heed to your needs to be able to cater for Fiji's growing population and emerging crimes. As I stated in my visit, uh, not only to the West but uh, at police headquarters and of course in Bonolio as well, I have noted that development has outpaced our arrangements in terms of uh, institutional arrangements, infrastructure, technology, and of course capacity as well. And I'm thankful that the Commissioner has laid the foundation through a strategic development plan where we can manage and we can cope with the changing scenarios that we are currently uh, facing. Development has taken, um, oh, sorry, development has, uh, has made a lot of uh, difference in the way that uh, uh, we live. And of course, for us to be relevant, we need to ensure that we manage and we cope with the changes that are happening. It's about managing change, because if we do not flow with change, we will become irrelevant within the environment that we are in or we will always be reactive. If we don't manage change, we will become irrelevant. We will be also very reactive. And I am thankful that uh, through the reforms that has been initiated by the Commissioner, we are able to cope with the changes that are happening. And let me assure you as your Minister that I will do my best uh, to take all the issues to government to ensure that for 
national security, we need economic security. For economic security, we need national security. You can't go without national security if we have to have a continued economic growth and sustainability and of course economic security as well. This past week the Fijian government continues its endeavor in making its services accessible to all Fijians with the opening of the Legal Aid Commission in KRC and as our services become more accessible expectations on our service delivery also grows. As new police stations will be constructed throughout Fiji it will be incumbent on you to ensure the structures are not merely a facade, where the external structures may be new, but everything inside is old, in that services are not up to par. I always like a quote by a, a military philosopher, Little Hut. It's easy to put new ideas into men, but it's hard to get the old ideas out of men. And I always argue that you can have the best resources, you can have the best technology, but it takes people to make the necessary changes that are needed. It's the attitude of the people. You can have the best service uh, police station in the country, but what makes the difference is the attitude in the people. And I hope that you will inculcate in you that spirit of excellence, that spirit of service. We are here to serve the public. Let's serve them with dignity, with fairness, with integrity, because they deserve it. And we are here to create that environment for them and, of course, for economic growth as well. Fiji Police Force is an institution that, may, that many love to hate some for personal reasons, while some are genuine due to the laxity of a few. Let me remind you that uh, government has and will continue to provide the Fiji Police Force with the necessary support through the provision of vehicles, operational resources, and soon similar groundbreaking ceremonies will be held in other divisions which are in urgent need of new police stations and uh, Nakazi being one, I know that uh, Nalawa in Ra and so many others. Having new vehicles, new offices, complexes, and uh, new resources will be futile if your heart does not acknowledge that your life and time belongs to others and that you are here to serve. The saying, honesty is the foundation for trust, you can't have one without the other, is the most appropriate for anyone who has committed their life to service. When you are honest in your work, the people you serve will trust you. If you are dishonest, complaints against you and against your service will rise. Work with an honest, clean heart and you will earn the trust of the people that you serve. Nandi will soon be declared a city and this will generate more demand on your services. And many of Fiji's major economic drivers are right here in the Western Division. The government is relying on the Fiji Police Force to maintain safety and security of our visitors as Nadi is one of our major ports of entry. But unfortunately, there have been complaints against your services from tourism operators and members of the public. I understand these issues have been ironed out during a Talano session with your commissioner. However, these other issues, if not handled well at your district level, can seriously impact our tourism industry. There have been calls for more visibility and more foot patrols. And these are the basics of policing that you know work well, that you know work well towards curbing crime. While your plates may be full as demands grow, remember to be honest to your calling. There is a lot of uh, positive work being conducted by the Fiji Police Force while some gets uh, noticed, there are hundreds of good deeds that go unnoticed. We did not sign up for life, for a life of service to be given a pat on the back. Every time we do something positive, a life of service means giving all of our every effort to ensuring the comfort of the uh, of the others. Let me conclude by again acknowledging the Vanua and the business community 
we need to work together. This was the message that I have relayed to the uh, stakeholders in the Northern Division, and I will come back to the West and have the opportunity to talk to the local communities, including the Vanua, the churches, and of course, uh, the business sector as well. For a stable, secure environment, we need to work together in partnership. Partnership, partnership, partnership is the way forward. Government can do its best within the scarce resources that it's given. But we need a concerted whole of government approach. And that is the partnership, and that is the way forward for us. Because when we have a safe, secure, stable environment, it's good for everyone. We will have more investors in Nandi. Nandi continues to grow. But we are here this morning to dedicate the groundbreaking ceremony, and I hope that this is the beginning of the future that we all look forward to. A future that will bring stability, security, and of course blessings to our people. It gives me much pleasure to be here this morning to officiate in the groundbreaking ceremony and may God's grace be with all of us and of course bless our beloved Fiji as well. Thank you. 